Stop kicking me. My boys, are y'all ready to travel? Oh, oh boy. Ow, ow. You're so crazy. Stop. What's up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to this video. Now today I am going to take you guys with me as I clean out my closet. And I kid you not, I am trying to get rid of just about everything. You guys might know that Matt and I are scheduled this week to go in and finalize on our tiny home slash trailer for our travels coming up very, very soon. So we have little to no room for anything extra. 98% of what we own is going to go. It's gonna be gone. So I've had a pretty hard time um, getting over the concept of getting rid of everything. But on the one hand, it is kind of nice because Half the time whenever I go to my closet to find clothes, I stand there overwhelmed by the decisions. I'll try something on, I don't like how it looks, or I don't like how it feels, so I try something else on. Go through this cycle of just trying on so many different things whenever you probably end up wearing what you started with in the first place. Um, my goal is probably about five items per category. So five tank tops, five pairs of workout shorts, five pairs of workout pants. We will see how that goes, but I think that that would be a good number to shoot for. And I wanted to show you guys what I already have, what I've already gone through up until this point. There was a time last year where uh, Matt and I went through a lot of stuff and I got rid of a lot of clothes to begin with, so it's already come down a lot. I used to have two closets full of clothes. And last week I went through and I got rid of this whole bag of clothes. There's a couple pairs of like house shoes in there, a few swimsuits. I have this in the bathroom so Brady won't chew on it. I'm looking to fill this other bag and then some. So let's go see what we're looking at here. You can see these were hangers um, that had tank tops and tons of stuff on them last week and I already got rid of those. I do hang them like this so it saves space in the closet, three per hanger, but the goal is to not have to do that anymore. I don't have that much room in the trailer coming up. So this is all stuff that I need to go through right now with you guys and minimize. Some of these things I'm like, man, I don't want to get rid of this. Like this dress. This dress reminds me of our cruise that Matt and I went on. I think it was on our first wedding anniversary. So there's a lot of memories tied to this dress. Now, if it were to be the only dress that I had, then I would wear it a lot more often. Super comfortable, actually. But if this were my only dress, I would wear it a lot more often versus having all of these other options to go through. Let's get started. Brady, you wanna help? Do you wanna help me get rid of some clothes? about a third of the way through my closet. It's honestly kind of hard to be um, getting rid of so much of this because there's so many memories with all of these clothes. Already here. Still too much, but one thing at a time. Now I even had some stuff back here that cleared out. A couple uh, <laughs> Halloweens ago, I was a figure skater and I wore rollerblades to work and wore this. As bad as I want to keep this, I don't see a need for it. I had gotten this jacket at Goodwill for about a dollar and I was planning on wearing it as part of a Halloween costume. To be honest, I don't know why or what the costume was going to be. I don't remember, but it's been sitting in the back of my closet. You know, it's amazing how attached we get to these things. I'm, I'm 
literally getting emotional going through my closet right now because of all the memories that I have with these clothing items and just the fear of not having as many things. Um, it's weird how it can actually feel that important to you, but in reality, I mean, these this is just fabric. It's just fabric that's sewn together that we put our identity in. I think oh, I should probably keep this because what if this occasion comes up? I don't know if it's gonna come up. If it comes up, we will figure it out when it comes up. There's just not a need for all of this stuff. We spend so much time and so much money collecting things and, and focusing on things. Save this much money, I can have this thing, and then I'll be happy, or I, I can buy this shirt, or I can fit into these pants and then I'll be happy, but we don't focus enough on actually being happy in this moment. We could be so happy if we were just to live in each moment and enjoy our health and our loved ones and our friends and our family and there's so many things we can focus on but we get focused on stuff. Who knew that cleaning out your closet would bring this about, huh? As much as I want to keep this, it's an old workout book. I don't need it. that I took with me and that I had for all of my show prep stuff. So whenever I competed in my bodybuilding shows, I took this with me. It's got my shoes, my competition shoes, number from my uh, second show and my first show, membership card. This is my first suit, my posing suit. I'm not gonna put this on. <laughs> I bought this at the first show that we ever went to as a practicing suit. I don't have a need for them. Competing was something that I never thought possible, that I never thought I'd be able to do. So, and holding on to these little things um, just as memories. I don't have anything to do with them, so they're gonna go. And then I have these drawers underwears, and then I've got socks and bras, tons and tons of socks, some sleepwear stuff that I need to go through. All right, here's the damage, you guys. What? I didn't even know I had that much stuff in here. So here's a look after I've done a pretty good overhaul. Still, like I said, need to go through several more clothing items, but I can't bring myself to do it all today. But most of it is done. And that's my shirts and shorts, workout stuff. And then here's my three pairs of jeans, along with dresses, and then... <laughs> I don't know what I want to do with these. I can't get rid of my onesies yet. All in all, I'd say it was pretty successful. I did have a hard time going through a lot of my jewelry. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but going through that, again, there are a lot of memories associated with it, but I haven't touched it in probably since we moved here, so at least a year. So what's the point of letting it clutter up your closet? You're not gonna get use out of it. This is it. This is it, you guys. All right guys, so that's it for today's closet cleanup. I know that I still have some more to go and I think this is a pretty dang good start. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me go through all of this stuff and hopefully it will encourage you guys to focus less on things and more on memories. I posted a quote on Instagram yesterday that said collect moments, not things, and I'm really, really trying to live by that and that's what we're going to be doing as we start to travel coming up in a few months so make sure and stay tuned for all of the travel videos coming up but i hope you guys enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up share this video if you found it helpful or encouraging and i love you guys and i will see you on the next video come here buzz buzz come buzz buzz come here buzz buzz oh my boy